What's it like uh, being here and being a Titan now? Uh, well, this is my first day. I'm still, you know, learning what it is to be a Titan, but um, it's amazing, man. Um, this is my third team, but uh, I think you know they got me. They gave me some years here, so I'm excited to you know show my talent and uh, my skills and learn the city and learn the fans and. Uh, just, you know, honestly overwhelmed, you know, these last couple of days. Why the Titans? Why, why come back? Um, uh, it's a new start. Um, when, uh, when I was going, you know, through the process of, you know, trying to evaluate the teams that I could possibly be with, um, I know that I have a certain type of skills. And so I'm not, you know, scared to go with the good or with, you know, who's trying to be good. So. Um, I think, you know, playing them twice a year, I was watching them and uh, looking at, you know, the things they did have. I know that D-Hop's here, and I know that, you know, I want to play with another receiver on the other side that can, you know, help me, you know, do what I do best, too. So I knew that they had that, and I knew they had a really good defense, and, you know, they were upcoming and stuff. So, I you know, I was looking into it, and, you know, I really wanted to honestly be with the Jags. But, you know, there was a lot of things that I wasn't, you know, wasn't working out for me, and then, I think the Titans had that other side for me, so I chose the Titans. And I, uh, obviously, the money was pretty good, so <laughs> I, I went with that. And uh, yeah, I'm here. When it comes to what you've seen from a young quarterback and Will Levis, somebody who you're going to have to build a lot of chemistry with, what have you seen from him early on? And those times that you've got to see the Titans last season? Uh, what I'm most excited about that is, um, like you said, he's young. But I know he has a, um, a lot of arm strength. But he's young, and I'm, I'm a vet. And uh, I feel like, you know, when you, you're in that role, I can, it'd be a little bit more easier for me to talk to him and communicate with him. Like, you know, I'm not just trying to say, you know, you, obviously you have a quarterback coach, officer coordinator and everybody, but I played this game for a long time, you know, and I, I kind of have a good idea how to get open and put us in probably some good situations. So I'm excited that he's young and willing to learn and I'm willing, I'm older, but I'm willing to learn too. So, and um, I think, you know, that's a really good advantage for us because, uh, he has someone that's a vet, and he's younger, so I think he'll listen to me. And I'll, I'll, I'll get us in some good positions. So I will really get us in some good positions, and I think that's going to be you know, a really good advantage for me and him. What's your relationship with, uh, with Nick Holtz, and, and how much did that play a role in it? Yeah, uh, yeah um, he had a pretty big role in it. Once, uh, I mean, I, I seen earlier, obviously, in the process that he was coming to um, Tennessee. So I was like, oh, OK, cool. And then uh, once I heard, you know, my agent was like, you know, Tennessee, you know, they're in the mix. I was like, wow, that would be perfect. Because, I mean, you know, obviously Jacksonville has a, they got a lot of weapons over there. And sometimes uh, when I was there, I, could, I was like feeling a little weird because I was always someone who wants the ball. And uh, like, I want to crack the game off for us. I want to I be the guy who's, you know, you know, keep me into the game all game. And uh, so I was like really like coming over here, you know, I want to I want to do my thing, take over. I want to bring this team, shoot this team through the roof and, you know, any way I can to help. How did you, I guess, how did this thing kind of come off? It was kind of stealthy the way it came off. Everybody kept saying Jacksonville or New England, then all of a sudden you're agreeing to a deal here. Yeah, because, um, you know, I was traded from Atlanta. So there was like a little, you know, third round or whatever. I had to wait till Wednesday, basically. And um, once Wednesday hit, that's when all the teams started, I guess, calling me and my agent calling my agent. So once we got past that and um, and I heard the teams, I really just broke it down to being more comfortable and what's gonna um, what's gonna make me ball to the you know be, playing back to the level that Calvin really should be at. And um, I, I, I chose here. I mean, I chose here. I just like I said, I seen the plan, the vision. I uh, broke it down with my family, and I said, hey, I, I ball anywhere, so let's go. You brought up the idea of kind of wanting to stay in Jacksonville for a little bit. What ended up kind of falling apart in the last minute that led to the Titans? Oh, man, I'm a very honest person, so this interview is hard with me. I'm very honest. Um, uh, uh, I'm a grown man. Uh, I like to be comfortable. I like to, um, you know, some of the things that you know you see on the internet or the games, uh, it doesn't. You, you got to hear it from me. Let me explain to you why I dropped that pass, why it looks like this, and uh, why I didn't play good here. You know, which is not an excuse, because I I work hard. You know, I put myself in those positions to do good every time. But uh, yeah, just a little uncomfortable at times. And uh, but 
you know, this team showed me they, they want me here for, for a while. And uh, they told me already they're going to treat me like a grown man. And uh, like, like you said, I know Nick. I'm excited to, you know, talk to him as soon as I get out of this, uh, go in the office and chop it up with him. But uh, um, they just, I just feel, you know, I'm going to be able to, you know, be a grown man here. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, jump-started your career again last year. How much do you feel like that's a sign of things to come in your, your careers maybe on the, on the up? Yeah, man, I just, come on. I mean, like I said, it's my time, ch chance to really finally say some things. Like, I sat out two seasons, I mean. Yeah, it wasn't the best season for me personally. I, no, I'm not proud of that at all. I could wish I could just throw it away, but that's what I gave him, and that's what I had. Two seasons out, I gave you 1,008 touchdowns. I mean, I didn't miss a practice. I didn't miss a game. I didn't come late to nothing. I respected everybody in the building. Um, I look at it as a win <laughs> for me personally when, when I have to um, think about it like that because if I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm going to just think I'm a failure. And I did pretty decent with two years off. I did pretty decent. So I look at it as that. And um, from now on, I'm, I think I only, I'm only going up because my work ethic is really good. I'm, 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 I'm going to put the work in in order to be good. And uh, yeah, I think I'm only going up from here. Two years off, I got my, I got my one year behind me now. Now I'm ready to take off. What does, two years off, what does Calvin much? Ridley at his peak look like? <sighs> I'm not going to get into it. But I'm a good player. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the type of player, you know, who, who, who deserves this contract. I'm going to say that. I'm the type of player who, you know, you want in the building, who, who, you, someone who's going to work for, the, for, your, for your organization, someone who all their life as a kid, you know, you know, I rode city buses to high school just to go to school, two of them in the morning. And then I would ride two of them after school just to go back to my mom's house. And then I would get on another two buses to go to another high school to watch them, just to watch them, because I'm already, rec this is where I'm gonna play at next season. This, I'm done with, I'm, I'm, this is where I'm gonna play at. Then I'm riding two more buses, city buses, back home at, I get home about 11 o'clock, and I gotta get on another two city buses in the morning. Just, and I'm only doing this for football reasons. So that's what type of player, like, I, I, y'all got a, a player who gonna come and work for that, for whatever y'all gave me, and, and yeah, I got a player. Calvin, during those two years that you were away from the game, what did you miss most? And knowing like there were things you were dealing with mentally, how did you navigate that whole process? Man, you know, I had my um, I had my family, my wife, my brothers, uh, my kids, uh, my mom. Um, I worked out as much as I could. I, I kind of just did the normal, honestly. I just lived my life. I mean, uh, I knew that I was out for at least a year. I didn't know anything other than that. Uh, I worked out, like I said, every day, loved on my family. We did kind of the normal. We just. What did you miss most about football itself? Uh, I missed a lot about football. It was hard to watch it. It was hard to uh, watch it knowing that I was, should have been out there. And, and honestly, coming from me, I didn't think I did that much. I think if you, you would have sat down and talked to me and uh, we would have had a, you know, a nice conversation with the NFL or whoever I had to talk to, I think y'all would have realized, like, all right, he's not gambling. He 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 was oh, well he was gambling, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. He didn't he didn't he didn't <laughs> he didn't uh, do it do it the way that they think he did. It was just you know he was going through some things, and if you would have you know chopped it up with me, you could have if you had a heart and you would have chopped it up with me, you would have been like, all right, we're gonna give you six months. How about that instead of the year? So, but um, at the end of the day, it was um, you know I did some. I got you know you know I dealt with my consequences, and uh, you know. It was it was really good for me, honestly. What do you, what you, what you learn, Calvin? Yeah. What, what do you think you learned from that time off? Of what did I learn? Hmm. Uh, I learned a lot, honestly. That in that time, I learned you know, people. I learned business. I learned my family is very important, you know, because I went through a lot and they didn't. They didn't change. They still love me. They're still here today. Um, yeah, I, I, I think uh, I just learned that, you know, family's, you know, really, really important. Um, you need that, especially going through a dark time like that. And that's the only way to, to get through something like that is some help, honestly. What did you learn from DeAndre? What did you learn from DeAndre Hopkins? And did you know it before you signed here? Yeah, I know D-Hop for sure. Uh, I train with him all the time. Uh, I could learn a lot, man. Someone has 
the consistent, you know, play of his, uh, he's just been really consistent his whole career. I mean, um, his catching, his routes, his, uh, his, his just his mentality to be a, a dog and a, a, you know, a real high caliber player. So, like I said, I train with him all the time. I have a bunch of conversations with him. Um, I'm very excited to play with him. How big a deal is it going to be for defenses having to face two talented veteran wide receivers on the field at the same time? Yeah, I think it's going to be a. Uh, I think it'll be hard for sure. I'm going to make it hard as I can for sure for him. Uh, and uh, yeah, just I think uh, we have two different type of you know, play styles, but uh, we can mix it very well together for sure. Yeah, just a bunch of big plays I see. Calvin, you mentioned those two years off, how big and important they were in terms of your journey, and then also what transferred between you and Jacksonville. Coming here, getting your fresh start, like you said, how much do those two experiences motivate you as you have your fresh start here, and, and maybe even somewhat of a little bit of a chip on your shoulder as you continue to prove what you can do in this league? Yeah, um, yeah obviously I was very motivated to uh, coming off my suspension. Um, you know, people would, you know, thought I wouldn't be able to, you know, I mean, two years off, you you wouldn't think somebody would be able to get a thousand yards and eight touchdowns. But uh, um, I used that. Uh, yeah, I was. Everyone saying that, you know, he wouldn't, you know, be still himself. You know, obviously I wasn't because I still was, you know, trying to learn the game again. It was, it was coming so fast, and you know, football could get it, it gets a lot being two years off, and you know, I was dealing with all the tightness in the beginning when I first came in so and you know like I, I do listen to the some of the stuff like you know just to give me a little boost to you know go out there and play well and all that so I was hearing the people say you know two years off this and that so my when I first went there I was I was ready to no one I mean I was ready to do anything you know <laughs> that I had to do in order to be great and um yeah this, like I said the season went but now I'm even like I got that one year behind me. My whole goal was to try to play as best as I could, but get that year behind me because that was the longest year ever coming off those two. But right now, I felt you know a thousand and eight. That's you know now I gotta I set that right there, and that's coming off two years, and I got you know I'm healthy. I came out of that season healthy. I think um, I think I'm in a good position right now. You mentioned coming to a team that is kind of reboosting, right, resetting, whatever you want to call it. It's a competitive AFC South up and coming. You're seeing the ads that these teams are making. Yeah, they're good. Does that also motivate you that they're resetting here, but they're adding things pretty quickly? And you look at the offense and how that room's stacking up. Is that pretty exciting for you? Very exciting. Um, and um, I'm a player. It doesn't matter who the other teams have. I don't. I don't. I don't really care who they have. I mean, I, obviously we'll look into it, but um, I'm a believer in who I'm working with. So, you know, we out there running those sprints and we sweating in the all season and we working together and we, you know, we, 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 you know, we're becoming brothers at the end of the day. I believe in everyone on my team. That's when I came from Alabama. Like, I, when I look around, I don't care who the other team has. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna work to be good and we're going we're gonna to kick their ass. And then, um, <laughs> I mean, that, yeah, I mean, I don't really care who they, I mean, I believe in my teammates and the work that we're going to put in. But like you said, the, the, you know, this, this division is getting really good for real. They got some good players on these other teams. So, but we got good players too. I mean, we're going we're gonna to come, we're going to come with it. And, uh, you know, I know they, you know, they're building a great organization around here and I'm excited, man. I'm ready decided to do what I got to do. Can you take two years off that you had as a, a huge positive moving forward because while you were away from the game, your body was, away from the game as well. So for how much football you still have left in the tank and at yeah. 29, 30 and beyond? Man, let me tell you this. I'm 29 on paper, but I'm probably like 25 for real, to be honest with you. And it's not because of the the two years off. The two years off did help, but I'm really like 25 years old on, on, in real life. You know what I'm saying? I do, I could run with the, y'all gonna see. I could run with the, the youngest. I could run with the oldest. I, I, I could run all day. I could play all day. I'm like, I love football, man. It's like, it's all I ever did, bro, pretty much. This, this is what I do. Calvin, what are the maybe the biggest things you've learned from working with Matt Ryan and Trevor mm -hmm. Lawrence that you think will inform your experience working with a young quarterback like yeah, Will? Right. Yeah, and that's why, you know, like I was saying earlier, like I felt like, you know, me having some sets in the league. And like, like I said, I look at myself as one of the better players. I don't really – care about the stats and all that if they're not looking up and adding up. I, I really think I got game, you know what I'm saying? I can, and I, and I, and I, and I watch film and I see it, how we can play. So, you know, being with Matt Ryan, me and him throwing crazy amount and uh, watching a lot of film and just 
seeing how we're going to break a defense down throughout the week. And, like, obviously, uh, Julio, I was under Julio, too. So I learned a lot from them. And, you know, and then going with Trevor, we would have those same type of conversations and put ourselves in, you know, good positions to, you know, get out the defenses. And I just feel like that, especially talking to um, – I haven't talked to him yet, but uh, just basically watching him and just hearing him. I heard him say some things about me. I feel like I, I can talk to him pretty good and we can get a good – you know, feel of how we want to move and play. And, you know, obviously we got to throw a lot, but I think it starts right there in those sessions. Did you have said you were to speak and offense, Calvin, and, and kind of are you excited about what Brian Callahan's track record was at Cincinnati with, with throwing the ball quite a bit? I'm sorry, can you say it one more time? But sorry, are, you, are you excited about what, you know, the prospects of a Brian Callahan offense and you kind of encouraged yeah. by his track yeah. record in, in Cincinnati? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I watched that offense for a while over there that they had. Um, I mean, obviously, who I'm a receiver. I love to catch the ball, um, and I just liked how you know he could put me in a different, um, a lot of different spots and move me around, which I think I didn't do as much as last year. So um, I'm very excited to you know you know do really do whatever they want me to do. You had said you wanted to speak for yourself. There's a lot of stuff on the internet, and whatnot. Calvin really signed this deal. He's going he's going to blow it away. He's not going to be the same player. Right. Tell everybody why that's not the case. Um. Uh. Cause I had two years off, and I came back and got a thousand eight yards. So I had two seasons off. I mean, I'm a I'm a I'm a hard worker. I'm a, I play football. Just, I mean, I can't even. I, I don't even understand. I don't. It doesn't hit me how it's hitting y'all. I mean, I I earned this. That's all I know. I mean, it just this is not hitting me like that. Why do you think there's that perception about you though? Who they would do that to anybody? They'll do it to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I can't worry about that. If I do, then I'm going the other wrong way. You know what I'm saying? So I'm only going this way. I'm my family over there. I'm excited. They got me here. I'm ready. Man, I play football. Who's, who's in that Pop Warner That's League not. when you were a kid? Uh, who, who maybe was in that Pop Warner League when you were a kid? How, how much did that maybe inspire you, even young, to be around such good players? Um, I was a, I, mean, I played with, there's a ton of players from my hometown. I mean, uh, football is really where, where I'm from is like another, you know, um, outlet in order to, you know, get away from a lot of the things that are going on. So, I mean, once I realized that this was what I loved and dreamed of doing and watching it on TV, seeing the, you know, the, you know, the Michael Irvins that are from my area, the, the Sante Samuels that are from my area, watching them and then, you know, being around the community and everyone is doing the same thing. Um, it was it was a no brainer that I wanted to go to college and play football, and I wanted to, you know potentially make it to the NFL. So, but also you know literally it was with uh, Lamar Jackson, my brother uh, Riley Ridley, Eddie Jackson. Uh, man, there's a there's a long 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 list of you know talent. Yeah, one Thank more you. for you. You, you, used to, you used to eat I think it's chicken wings <laughs> fries for as your pregame meal when you're at Atlanta. You still do that? What's your pregame look like? No, nah, I don't do that no more. I used to do it. I don't know. My my my, my man's Kenny. Uh, he used to. Uh, I used to. I love wings back then, man. I and back then I could eat anything before the game. I mean, I I could. I still probably can, but uh, yeah, I used to like macaroni and cheese wings before the game. I don't know why, man. I just feel my stomach. I just like I like to be full before a game because I'm gonna burn it all off. You know, I want to be. I want to make sure the stomach's full. So, I get me some macaroni and some lemon pepper wings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.